Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with part 6 of building the Half-Life 2 muscle car. So, I didn't quite get into weathering this week, but I did get everything else finished the way I wanted to. Starting at the front end here, I've got the nose installed, and I've got a scratch-built grill guard there, kind of mimicking what was on the General Lee. And I've got bulkhead behind it, to act as some support, along with a little more substantial bumper behind the visible bumper. I got a little more detail on the engine with the radiator hoses and the alternator bracket. I've got these two curved frame rails for the shock towers. Now, in the game, it does have two just straight bars front to back but they weren't really attached to anything substantial. They were attached to the radiator bulkhead and the firewall, but there was nothing going off either side of them. So the first time the car hit a bump, it was probably going to shear those right off. But I wanted to make it a little more plausible looking, so I took some fairly hefty stock and made my own braces. And I've also got scratch-built shocks in there. Yeah, overall, I'm happy with how those look, too. I might go back and add some more diagonals just to match the game a little bit closer, but these are going to be doing the heavy lifting. I've also got these rails, and this one is bent intentionally because where it mounts to this, my also scratch-built roll cage, it's damaged as it is in the game, uh, and I wanted to make it look like it either took an impact or had a slow speed rollover or something and so the damage isn't just limited to this right here it actually torqued the whole thing so I wanted to kind of continue that down both sides and overall I'm pretty happy with how that turned out as well I just have a couple little more details to add and then it'll be time for dull coat and weathering and I was asked to do a demonstration of weathering techniques which I'll be happy to do. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for me as well because I got some new stuff to try out. First from AK Interactive I got crusted rust deposits and rust streaks. And then from Vejo I got engine grime, streaking grime, industrial mud, splash mud, and rain marks and mud and grass. And so I'm going to be trying all of these out. I'm going to be doing streaks down the side, doing some mud and grass deposits on the underside of the car. Just generally try to make it look like something that's been used and abused in the countryside and left out in the weather. So my plan is to give it a shot on one side and then have the other side available for demonstration on camera. So be sure to check back next week for that. Thanks for watching.